Hello, dear friend. Welcome to another Bible study, the series of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. And uh, very happy to be here again with you. If you would like to go to the website, thechurch.us, there you will connect with our different channels on YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Roku, and Apple. So it will be a pleasure if you do that. Also, you can subscribe to the podcast. Very well. I am Gian, the founding pastor of Victory Church and from Odessa, Texas. I say hello to you and welcome today. The reading comes from the easy to read version, Romans chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. And we read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, guide us through this study. Amen. So, why do you judge your brother or sister in Christ? Or why do you think that you are better than they are? We will all stand before God and He will judge us all. Yes, the scriptures say, As surely as I live, says the Lord, everyone will bow before me. Everyone will say that I am God. Judging others is a pretty common problem for every person. Even those that are successful, happy, very accomplished people, they struggle with that. The ones that are in trouble, they struggle with that. You know, the young, the old, educated or non, men, women, it doesn't matter. Everybody, all races, all nationalities, it's a, a heart issue judging others and basically the problem is exactly what Paul says here you think you are better than others that is the problem for some reason we have this wrong idea you know all the time we are thinking well if I do these things this way why they can't if I am such and such way why she cannot or if uh, we are doing these things this way why they cannot do it it, it is a heart issue it's a heart issue that is related with the fact that we see ourselves like we are the big potato the french fried potato whatever potato you think you are <laughs> and that's the whole thing right really what is a big potato you know the expression says you think you're a big potato when you think about it potatoes potato <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's big or small potatoes potato human beings are just human beings yes there are qualities in certain persons uh, you can find individuals that are very talented talented and probably more refined than others perhaps you will find individuals that have a better body you know more developed muscles or many things that people can say well I'm better than the rest maybe you know but the truth is at the end as a human being one day we will be in the presence of the Lord and we all will say there is one God and we will bow before him you see, so what is the point of insisting that someone is better than the other, that you are better than the others? And the thing is, until you experience freedom, and, and I, when I say freedom, it's because, in fact, those that are in chains, not having a clear identity, they, they are actually struggling and suffering because constantly judge everybody else. They judge that person for their height. They judge this other person for their weight. They judge this other person for their money, their family, their food. Their, there is always something, a reason to 
criticize others. They are in chains. And the thing is they cannot experience freedom. It's like a constant battle in their minds. Criticizing other people, trying to put them down and always saying to themselves, I'm better, I'm better, I'm not like them. You know, I have said this before. The Lord told us the story, the Lord Jesus. He said, there were two guys that came to pray to the temple. One guy was a sinner and he was on his knees and he was hitting his chest, begging God for forgiveness. The other guy, on the other hand, was a very religious, steady, you know, good character and uh, a good life. Him, on the other hand, was telling God, you know, thank you, God, that I'm not like this guy <laughs> because I'm not like he is, you know, a crook or a liar or whatever. Thank God, thank you, God, that I also give you money. Thank you, God, that I'm better. Thank you, God. So the Lord Jesus says, guys, what do you think about these two guys? Who of these two do you think was right in the eyes of the Lord? And that is exactly what Paul is telling us here. One more time. Do not worry about other people. Let everyone else deal with his own disasters. You know, we, we want to help people. I know you want to help people. And you think, well, if they do this, if they do that, they might help themselves to have a better life. And probably you're right. But the truth is, everyone has to deal with his own disasters. You have to just love people rather than judging people. Because at the end, all of us are going to come to the presence of God not one day. All of us. So imagine if, if, if we are going to be in the presence of God one day, and the question will be, why will you be? Why, why were you judging everybody else all the time? Why? Why did you waste your time judging everybody? I didn't judge anybody. Are you sure? So that is exactly what. Paul is trying to tell us today. Today, two verses with so much content when you think about it. The importance of just don't think that you are better than anybody else. Remove that idea from your head. You know, you have to see your life exactly the way that the Lord sees your life. How is that? That He forgives you for what you have done yesterday. He embraces you today because you are in His presence with a humble heart. And He gives you power to make the right decisions, to behave the right way tonight and tomorrow. He gives you hope. That's the way that how the Lord sees your life. So you need to see your life the same way. Not just about you, but about everybody else. The Lord already forgave the sins of everybody else that are believers. You see that, right? The Lord is not judging your spouse or your father or your sibling or your child or your co-worker or your client or your supervisor. The Lord is not judging them once they are okay with the Lord. It's, it's a done deal. So leave them alone. Let them live the way that they live. And what about those who are not living godly? It's their lives. Let them be. Paul is saying here, don't you, you don't need to think of yourself like you are better than everybody else. How important is that? See the goodness in people. Try to see in the rest of the people the good things they can do in the good things that are in them because the Lord has gifted people already, even when they are doing what is wrong. It's not your job 
to judge the others. Whatever they do is not your job to analyze, study, or criticize, much less inside of your heart judging them. Let them be. Because one day you will be also in the presence of God and you will acknowledge that He is God. So it's better if we are okay with the Lord and we stop judging the rest. Thank you for being here with us tonight and I wish you a beautiful night. By Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.